what's happening guys I hope you're good I just want to say a massive lent on the window thing I just want to start off by saying thank you really to everybody that subscribed already to the channel it's only 10 days old this channel but already we've just hit 500 subscribers so hopefully that means that I'm doing something right so if you watch my first little series you'll know that I set off intending to go on a solo stealth camp to find out how cold it is sleeping in the back on my own and things like that but things didn't go that way I ended up picking up Becky and we went on some mad spontaneous trip for four or five days but today I'm actually going to test the van out on a solo stealth camp if you've already seen the title which I'm sure you have you will know that we're going to Gatwick Airport so I've heard there's a lot of security guards that patrol the car parks there and I think it would be quite interesting to see if I can get away with it we're just pulling up into Asda first to get some food and then on to go outdoors before we've got about a 45 minute drive to get to Gatwick For heaters, well not for heaters, like the food, for heaters, I've got three options at the moment, I'll show you them later, but I want to pick up a fourth option because, well one of the options I've got, I call it the double death bomb, it just looks proper dangerous. So this one, hopefully is a little bit better. Got some minefield in here, I'm pretty sure we're out of luck, I can't see them anywhere but I'm going to go and ask somebody. One stovetop heater. It's three degrees outside at the moment. It's supposed to get down to minus one or minus two. All right, so we're at the airport. I've got to find the North Terminal Short Stay Car Park. So normally if you park at an airport, as you probably know, it costs a fortune. But my mate had a 75%, hold on, where are we going this way? My mate had a 75% off of the online price, which is already cheap, to park. So basically I've got a whole night for nine quid. Well, I don't know how much it normally is, but we'll find that out in a bit. Right, where do we go? Short stay this side. We're in. Home for the night. What am I doing? Most people are tucked up at home right now, in the warm. So before I park up, I think I'm just going to scout it out, have a little drive about. See where's best to park. Obviously I want to go where there's going to be less people. There's a Premier Inn down there. Look at all those losers queuing up to Premier Inn to pay about £200 a night. £9 a night in this thing. I mean I could have stayed at home on the sofa in a really nice warm house. With a proper oven. But what is the fun in that? But we don't want to be on too much of an empty floor because then we'll stand out as being the only vehicle there. But at the same time we don't want to be on a really busy floor because then we're more likely to get seen but this one looks all right you know I'm tucking myself right into this far corner I mean it's probably gonna be a bit cold here because we're literally out in the open but I think before anything rather than just parking up and getting straight in the back because if there are any cameras looking at me at the moment that'll be a bit suspicious so I'm gonna walk over to the departure lounge have a little look around there and then when I come back I can get straight into the back That is home for the night. Oh no, look at that. There's a pigeon's egg. Obviously that's where we parked. We've got a nice empty space. Tucked right into the corner and that's the terminal. Just over there. best thing about being at the airport is it does not look suspicious if I'm walking around filming because pretty much everyone's filming little clips before they get on the plane. There's some woman who's been kicking right off for ages. Look, there she is. Some geezer's trying to help her out. She's just crying and screaming on the floor and that, having a tantrum. Asking for people to help her and everyone's trying to help her and she's just going, I can hear her from here. I'm going to take a wild guess that she has missed her flight. Either that, or she's had a trouser accident. But either way, I think I've done enough walking around. I'm going to head back to the van, get in the back, 
make some food, hopefully heat it up in there and stick on some Netflix. Right, we are inside our safety bubble. The temperature in here isn't actually too bad at the moment because where I was blowing that hot air through when I was driving, I'll show you, it is 16.1 degrees and outside it's 3 degrees. So that's probably going to go down but first things first, before it starts getting cold again, I'm going to get changed into a thicker hoodie and then we're going to get on with some cooking. So I'm going to have to do everything without getting out of the van, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult. But when I was walking around, I did notice there are cameras everywhere, which is not surprising, seeing as it's an airport. But it does mean that I don't want to keep getting in and out. Look at that, she's like a sheep. Right, job done. The inevitable temperature drop has already started, so we're down to 15.6 now. Obviously that's not bad at the moment, but it is dropping. It's quite well insulated in here, so Hopefully we're going to be alright. The cooking's going to warm it up. And speaking of cooking, in line with keeping things simple tonight, I'm going to do an old favourite of mine, eggy bread. So what I do when I cook, this seat can actually lift up and it comes forward a bit, not too far, but it will go down into a bed, but to about there, and then I'm sitting nice and close to the cooker. Let's do one last perimeter check. See if anyone comes out that door over there and then we're gonna have to open this up otherwise we will die of carbon monoxide poisoning oh, look, there's someone over there oh, that's security and all he had a security patch on his jacket so I'm gonna have to stick my head out and check where he's gone pan's probably not hot enough yet, but I don't want this on for too long, this gas, so we're going to go for it. It is looking good. Right, maybe that's a little bit too much smoke coming out. Alright, that is perfection, if I do say so myself. If you ask me, there is only one topping that is worthy of this eggy bread. And it's not only Marmite, Dynamite Chili, limited edition Marmite. I could probably do with getting some sort of butter knife in here. But, this will do. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, I do use a knife and fork for almost everything. I am one of those people. That is the one. I'm a genius. I mean, I didn't invent eggy bread. Obviously, God did, but adding that dynamite chili marmite to it is worth it. Oh, there's someone outside. They can probably smell my eggy bread. They are not having any. What I probably should do is go and find that woman who was having a massive tantrum and offer her some of this. Actually, there's no chance. She might have a trouser accident in here. Well, I'm going to turn off the camera for a minute. I'm going to make myself a second bit, maybe even a third bit, depending on how far that egg goes. And I'm going to get cleared up and then I'll show you guys the different options that I've got for heating the van tonight. The security guard is just down there having a cigarette at the moment. So hopefully that is where he stays. I've shut the door. It's time to get warm in here. I'm going to show you the different heating options that i got, but first, I was thinking about toilet options, right? Now, I'm not a fan of having a, a port -a loo or anything like that in the back of here. The toilets are like five minutes away, probably, so it's not that bad. But on the van groups on Facebook, everyone's always saying, just go in the back of your van, it's so much easier. 
and I don't like the idea, right? But, well, I've done it, basically. But what I want to know is what do you do with it now at this stage? I mean, chuck it out the window, is that legal? <laughs> oh, what is happening to my life? Obviously, this is fake. This joke cost me 2 99 so I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so childish. But onto the heating options, because it is getting cold in here, it's now down to 9.8 inside and outside, two degrees. So obviously behind me, you can probably see this, this is an 80 watt electric heater. But the thing is, it's not the most powerful of heaters, really it's just designed to sort of take the edge off if you're sitting in there for the evening watching TV or whatever. So my other options are obviously a good old hot water bottle. I'm pretty sure I'm actually gonna try that out later. It's a nice long one the hot water bottle and then this is another option now I've turned this on before and it literally gets really hot really quick so you only need it on for a couple of minutes but I just don't trust it this is the double death bomb this sits on top of the gas canister directly on it when it's on I'll show you in another video I'm not going to do it now but basically it looks like the devil's eyes they're just glowing red I don't trust it and because it's so close to the gas can as well it just doesn't seem like it's a safe idea to have in the van. Which is why I picked up option number four. And it's a similar system, but this one sits on top of the stove. And also, where the flames actually come out is nowhere near the gas canister itself. But I've read that they don't sit on most stoves. They only sit on those little square camping ones that you can buy, the portable ones. But we're gonna see if by some miracle, what was that noise? It sounded like an owl having a heart attack. By some miracle, this might fit directly onto the stove. And obviously, if it does fit, I'm not gonna leave this on all night. This is more of a sort of put it on for five, 10 minutes before you go to bed, heat the van up. And because I've got good insulation in here, it should stay warm for a while. Well, it's not gonna fit. I can already see it's not gonna fit. It's basically, if you can see that there, obviously these have got to fit up in there and then it twists in place. But these look like they're too wide for that. And well, they are, you can see. But, do you know what? That's actually quite sturdy. Right, let's turn the light out and see if it's glowing. Oh yeah, that is good actually. And I can feel it's kicking off a bit of heat. Right, I spoke too soon, it smells real bad of plastic fumes. I don't know if you can see that. You can literally see my breath in front of my face. But I've just got the projector screen out. I've got the projector out. I've even got some healthy snacks, which is unlike me. And I'm about to watch a movie called The Revenant on Netflix. I've not seen it before, but someone says it's good. I don't usually watch movies, to be honest with you, like never. But I thought since I got this set up, I might as well start watching one every time I'm out. Okay, I tried to watch the film. I did. I watched it for five minutes. And then I looked at how long it was going to be all together. It was two and a half hours, and I just thought, I can't be bothered. If it was about something else, like pigeons, I'd watch it. I love pigeons. But it's not about pigeons. It's about... Well, I don't know what it's about, to be honest, because I only watched it for five minutes. So, I've put on uh, YouTube, and I'm watching plane crash videos, aviation disasters, like really bad ones and that, and um, I thought it was quite fitting since I'm at the airport. <laughs> watching YouTube now so I'm going to go over to the terminal um, use the toilet come back hot water bottle get into bed again and hopefully fall asleep it's cold out here I think it's about half one it's officially zero degrees perfect crime and yes I am proud of myself it is freezing out there right we're back in as far as I know nobody saw us I thought we were supposed to whistle what the hell well, it's actually pretty warm in here now that the hot water bottle is in the bed. I've cleaned my teeth, actually last job to do. 
Turn on the extractor fan. Unless I get woken up by the security guard, I'll catch you in the morning. Morning, people. Right, I'm up. What's going on with my hair today? According to my phone, minus three degrees it got to outside last night. Inside is currently 4.5 degrees. The most it got to in the night was 11.6. And the lowest it got to was 3.1. So, what's that? Six degrees over the minimum outside. Look at that, the windows are clear as anything. That's my tea towel dry in there. Bit of brown sauce, obviously. It's like the chefs do it, just casually chuck it around the plate. Makes it look professional. I've managed to find myself some Starbucks cups and some packets of milk. Right, one issue I've been having, these keys do not work when the key fob is freezing cold. So I'm literally having to stand here and warm it up so I can open the front door. And it is freezing out here this morning. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go, we're in. And that is a wrap. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much if you tuned in. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So as for this channel, I'm just going to be doing a lot of random things. It's probably going to be different each time. Solo stealth camps. Uh, Becky loved the last trip that we went on and she wants to do some more. So I'm sure you'll be seeing her in the near future as well. But for now, I'm going to leave this video here. I am going home to get myself a nice hot shower. I'll catch you on the next video.